What's up guys? Today I have a very, very, really good video for you guys. For those that actually kind of kind of want to get a theme when it comes to their Instagram, um, I haven't really really been doing themes to my Instagram. I kind of edit them every single picture a specific way. But now I'm actually I actually really want to start my own theme, so kind of take the pictures and kind of have them look kind of similar to the color scheme, color correction, just they all look similar. So what I really want to do is I want to show you guys exactly how I edit them. Currently, I'm actually going to show you guys the pictures. I haven't necessarily uploaded them yet, but uh, it's kind of a sneak peek before I upload them. But we're going to ViscoCam. That's the app that I mainly use. And this is kind of the theme that I'm kind of going for. Kind of like a back gray blurred uh, contrast. The colors popped out type of look. Uh, I really like it. And I'm going to show you guys one specific. I'm going to show you guys how I achieve this specific look when it comes to this picture right here because I feel like this one of the pictures I'm actually wearing the outfit at the moment so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I took it and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I edited it. so the first app that I actually use before I even start editing is I take the picture right and I first open Photoshop fix that's the app that I use to kind of blur up the background and change the color so what I like to do is open up your your gallery and just choose the picture you're gonna want to use right so once once it's open, right, we want to go to the paint tool. You want to get the Y tool. You want to put it up all the way top. Go to right there. And if you see as the background, right, I want to change the background to kind of a whitish look, white gray, just to kind of make the colors of my of the shirt and all that pop out. So usually what I like to do is I really don't care much to be honest, because I eventually just start fixing it but just kind of scribbled mostly all the ends of the background it don't matter as long as you get the actual entire background just make sure everything is good kind of to make yourself more kind of like popped out what I like to do in some of the pictures not all of them but I like going to the actual defocus tool from Photoshop fix that one right there right we're going to just for the entire background so it shows like a little red part showing where you're actually defocusing and I like doing that because it kind of makes it seem like if, if, if you're actually just taking it with the uh, DSLR, you gotta have to actually get in the right way of not gonna look fake. So I'm not gonna make it that perfect. I'm just gonna show you guys exactly kind of what I'm talking about. So now that you see the background is kind of defocused and you're focusing more on the subject and the subject is you. So you're gonna wanna, wanna save it, right? So now again, let's save the actual photo, the photo. And now we're going to the next app, ViscoCam. All right, so let's actually get it and it's actually inserted back to physical cam. But when you open physical cam, right, this is all the filters, right? But you want to go kind of to the, to the, where the exposure contrast is this. Usually I like putting up the contrast up to a 0.5 to kind of make the background a little bit more lighter for the actual theme. You want to bring up the contrast more to kind of expose yourself a tiny bit. Kind of go up to a 0.1 to kind of expose yourself a little better. And to make the actual picture a little bit more high quality, don't go too up because if you go too up, it's gonna loosen up the quality, it's not gonna look right. So you wanna pick it up to at least like a 6.0, depending on the actual photo, how the good quality is already. So from right there, right, you're going to go to Vignette. I love using that because from the corner of the actual pictures, it kind of blacks it out and you're the focusing, focusing point in other words. So you kind of want to bring up the vignette. I kind of bring it up a lot. So yeah, I like putting up to like that much of vignette. Sometimes, depending on the picture, I kind of want to go to the skin tone and kind of make it a little bit pinkish to make me seem kind of more white. <laughs> Mr. Donald Trump. <laughs> so you want to put it up to like a negative 3.0. And that's what I do to my photos right now. Currently, that's my theme right now. So I'm actually kind of getting a really good theme. This is one of the pictures that I did. I blacked out white. I used a white color, the brush tool, and I white out the entire background. So it, I'm the actual focus. I can't. I, I put up the contrast very high. So I'm the actual. So you kind of the colors and that kind of exposes. And I brought up the saturation a little bit high. So the actual color orange pops out a little bit more. And for this picture, I did the same process, the same thing. I'm doing kind of the same thing to all of the pictures. That's what I'm mainly doing because I want them to like kind of a similar theme. So I'm doing like the same thing, but depending on the picture, you kind of have to raise up the exposure 
and bring up the contrast. You kind of have to mess around with that. But I'm kind of doing a similar thing when it comes to all these pictures, I'm trying to make them a little bit different. As you see, the white, the background is actually white out and pretty much, yeah, that's what I usually do. Kind of a theme that you're kind of wanting to achieve and have an Instagram theme, go for it. You guys could by any means, you guys could use this. I think this theme is really nice, but that's what I pretty much do. I can't wait to upload these pictures. They look really nice. So I kind of want to get my theme up really good, making it popping as fuck. So hopefully it looks really nice. And so yeah, that's it. That's all what I got to show you guys. That's the theme that I'm actually going for. And if you guys want to do it, go for it. Dale tu, purale tu, lo puedes hacer. But I hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And if you guys want to kind of mimic the theme that I'm kind of matching, you guys can do this. And yeah, that's all for today's video. And hopefully you guys enjoy this video and actually kind of get the theme like me because that shit looks badass as fuck. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bang, bang. Dale.